Today I'm going to explain how the Apple Watch zones work for burning fat. Now when you get into a zone one, which is like a recovery easy workout, it's 55 to 65% of your heart rate max. So that's more of a low calorie burn and the primary fuel source in this low calorie burn is going to be fat. How is the heart rate max determined? They take your age and they go 220 minus your age and that's a rough estimate of your max heart rate. Now is this a true of what your heart can withstand? I don't think so because a lot of the pro athletes, their heart rates could shoot all the way up to like 220 beats per minute in some events and if it was based on this science then that would be completely incorrect and those people would die. Now for the average person, yes 220 minus your age is roughly the max that you really want your heart rate to go up to and you would probably never want it to stay in that heart rate zone for too long. Now when we're in that 55 to 65 percent zone, that's when you're out of that low calorie burn but the good things about this low calorie burn is the primary fuel source is fat. You're just not gonna be burning as many calories, but you're gonna be burning more calories from fat. Zone two is more of an aerobic slash base, which is about 65 to 75% of your heart rate max. Zone three is now you're increasing the tempo where you're at 80 to 85% of your heart rate max. Zone four is now you're getting into that lactate threshold. So where the anabolic or the metabolic burn, where your muscles start to really feel fatigue, you might get a taste a little bit of iron into your mouth. That's when we're getting into that 85 to 88% of your heart rate max. And your zone five is your anaerobic burn, where you're burning way more oxygen than your body is able to recover. This is where you're at 90% or more of your heart rate max. Now the difference between zone one and zone five, like I've mentioned, zone one is a low calorie burn. And when you get into this lower heart rate zone, then that's when your body is generally going to use a slower releasing fat source. And when you get into that anaerobic zone, the primary fuel source, so when you're really challenging yourself, is going to be carbohydrates. Now the difference between the two, especially if you're looking to lose weight and you're looking to trim down, is that in the higher calorie zones, yes, you're using carbs as a primary fuel source and you're like, well, coach, I wanna use fat as fuel. Well, I'm gonna tell you that in this anaerobic zone, you're challenging yourself more. So you're burning more calories in a shorter period of time. And when you're challenging yourself more, you're challenging your muscles to exert more. So at the same time in this anaerobic zone five zone, you're actually going to be able to burn more muscle. So between zone one and zone five, I'd recommend that you get closer into the zones four and five than into the zones one and two. Now it doesn't mean that you don't mix mash the two because you wanna have times where you're in a low, slow, steady state because you don't wanna be in a high anaerobic burning zone all day, every day, because in the high zones, it is more stressful on the body, more stressful on your heart, and it requires more recovery time because of the stress that you put on the overall body. In the lower zones is more of your active recovery days. So the high zones is when you would be playing like a sport or when you're going really hard and doing a fit club workout. And then a zone one, two is maybe when you're just going for a walk, you're doing a light stretch, or you're just kind of like on the treadmill watching TV. So there's a time and place for both. And you want to make sure that you're balancing the both of the two. But if you want to do a short period where you want to burn as much calories as possible and potentially lose as much weight as possible in a short period of time, then focus on that zone five anaerobic zone. Now this seems kind of confusing and it's very generalized when it comes to nutrition. So I'm going to recap it. The zone one, your primary fuel source is going to be fat, but the overall caloric burn is going to be way less than in a zone five where the primary fuel source for the muscles is going to be carbohydrates because carbohydrates are designed for quick instantaneous fuel. But in this zone five, the heart rate is high, the muscles are exerted and you're going to burn more calories. Now, if you're looking for a crazy caloric workout, that's going to burn calories, build muscle and drop fat. We've got it all designed for you over at Fit Club. So go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, mention the five day. Now, if you're looking for more of an experienced approach to coming with nutrition of how you should stack your fats and your carbs, then mention the belly burn, get on our list. The next one's starting soon.